Hello golfers, this is Dean with GolfAllYear.com and today I'm going to talk about sand traps. Uh, one of the most difficult things to do in OptiShot, I feel, is to hit out of the sand traps. In fact, I had a video on the five most frustrating uh, scenarios and the sand trap was one of them. So let's test out what is the optimal distance and trajectory and shot to hit out of the bunker. All right, so one of the most frustrating things with the OptiShot is uh, hitting out of the bunker. Uh, I have found it uh, kind of challenging sometimes and it can cost you a lot of strokes. And so what I want to do is I want to test out what's the optimal uh, trajectory, what's the optimal distance to hit it, uh, and, and those type of things. And so what I've done is I've set up a 33-foot putt on the driving range, uh, or I should say chip, uh, on the driving range. It is a, a flat chip for the most part. Um, I have set it to the highest trajectory. Uh, you can see that the white line is 15 feet, so that kind of can be a, a gauge for us. Uh, that will be uh, the halfway point or so. And so let's see how far I have to hit it to get it to the hole. All right, so you can see it doesn't roll out uh, that much. Okay, now let's set it to the lowest trajectory and see how much uh, roll we get. So that looked about halfway. That if you hit it about halfway uh, with the lowest trajectory, uh, it's going to roll out halfway. As you can see, uh, if the if you set the trajectory of the shot to the highest setting, uh, you'll want to hit it. Uh, I would say about three fourths of the distance to the pin, uh, and then if you're on the lowest setting, you probably want to hit it about halfway. And so with those uh, things in mind, I think that uh, is going to help my sand trap play. Hopefully it'll help yours.